Hello and welcome to my channel Making Crafts. Today I wanted to show you a few items, that, gifts that I received, as well as some items that I have bought and some handmade items that I thought you would all enjoy seeing. And so I, some of these I've had here for a little bit, but I'm just haven't had a chance to film. And so I wanted to put it all in the same video. So first off, I wanted to start out showing you some gifts that I recently received. And these were made by a mother and daughter. And they have made some wax seals for me. And the mother made me this one, and it's a bee. I don't know if you can see that, it's so adorable. And I'm gonna have a hard time using these or anything because I just really wanna hold on to them. That's my problem. Sometimes I wanna hold on to these things that I need to use in my journal. So I'll have to eventually add it to a journal, but maybe it'll be my personal journal that I add it to. And then here is another one that the daughter made me, and I hope I can get it on camera so you can see it, the lighting. And it is another wax seal, and it's it's just got so much detail. It's got a mountain and a moon and some trees, and I just love these. And I have tried, I've got one um, little stamp that you use with wax seals, and I've tried, I've not had any luck with them, but I really love how, how theirs turned out. I love the colors on both of them. This is perfect colors for bees. It makes me think of honey, and this is perfect for the night sky. So I wanted to show you those. And then the daughter, she has started dyeing papers, and so she dyed me some papers here. And the mother and daughter both may have dyed some of these. I know that the daughter dyed some, and the mother may have helped with one of the packs. I can't remember right off, but here is some. And it's not just dyes. I think she's using some paints and things on these. And so it's book pages, and I love them. Look at all the different colors and textures on it. And look at that. I'm not really sure how she got that design, but that's really cool. And look at the, almost like a rainbow effect on these. And I just think they're adorable. I love, I love dyed papers. And look at that, that does look like a rainbow. That is so pretty. And so here's some more. They're all very pretty. And so I think she's put some paint and some, I'm not sure what type of dyes those are or maybe alcohol inks, but those are so pretty. And look at that blue, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. And so I will, let me leave this aside here. And this is some more that was dyed. And these are, let's see, these are brown. And that looks like it is some alcohol inks, but I'm not quite certain. So I really love the grunginess of that. But I love grungy and I love the dyed papers. And so the mom made me this folio, and it is so awesome. Look at this, the um, like the crocheted lace on the outside. And this folio has so much in it. And she made this herself. It's really neat. And I haven't tried to make one yet. I think she said that it has an, you do it over top of an envelope. I'll have to ask her again. I have trouble remembering, and so she's used, I can recognize this paper, my favorite paper from Tim Holtz for the pockets. I think this is called the Wallflower Pack. I love this paper pack. And so then it's just all these different pockets for ephemera. And so she has put all this ephemera in here, just different stickers for plants, and then just different bits and pieces of ephemera. And she's organized them as to, like by theme, each pocket has a different little theme to it and color, either by color theme or theme of what it is. Like that one's plants and this one has the tickets and the ocean theme and I'm gonna have to stack them. So I can get those back in there. So this is so neat. And even when I use the ephemera up, I can use the folio to add more ephemera to it. And so here we've got tickets and then there is some more ephemera for different projects. And then here we have like a stamp and some more little stamps and some butterflies, different butterflies there and flowers and stamps. I may not have time to pull it all out, but you get the, you get the idea there is so much in here and it's just absolutely awesome and adorable. I love it. And so there's some stamps, I mean some plant stickers and then here you've got ocean theme. And then here you've got some acetate. I think it's what you call that acetate ephemera here. I don't think those are stickers, but more just acetate decorations to add. And then you've got more over here. And just so many little things 
in these pockets. And so this is just, this was a wonderful gift. And, and we may have to learn how to make one of these on our channel so that we can make these as gifts. I think this is really neat. And so I just wanted to share that with you all. And I love this little silk that she's added to that she's added to the cover to keep it closed. So I've been holding off on using anything in it. I've had this for a few weeks and I was holding off on using anything in it because I really wanted to show you all this folio and how neat it was. So then so that's those things. Put all this back together there. And so here's another thing, and we all love these used books for our journals. And so my niece got these for me, and so I wanted to share them with you because she is very young, and a lot of young people aren't into junk journals, but she, and she doesn't make junk journals, but she totally gets me because she was out antiquing, and she found these journals, and they're absolutely awesome. I mean, not journals. She found these books, and they're awesome. It's got all kinds of things in here, and she was able to recognize things that I would use out of these books. So I was thrilled to receive them. Oh, this one I had never saw before, and it is... From copyright 1942, 52, 53, 57, and then the latest one, 64. And I'm trying to remember what this is called because I've never saw one. It is a crossword puzzle dictionary. So dictionary for crossword puzzles. And I had never saw that, but it's got all these words in here. And so she had the idea that when she got it that I could go through and cut out words and add them to my pages and into my different um collages and clusters that I have and I think that's an excellent idea because there's so many words you could just pick out different ones to cut out and to use in my journaling so I absolutely love this little gift and then she bought me a hymnal because I had been talking about using hymnals and so this is really neat so she and I love the age on this too and the colors on the edge of the page it's red let me see what how old this one is this one's 1966 and so then she had the idea that you could cut out some of the, the um, poems and stuff in the back, the, what are they called, the, um, oh my goodness, the recitations, the, the little blessings here and things, and that you could just cut those out and use them on different pages. And so I thought that was a cool idea as well. So I really loved those. And so let's see, the next thing that I this one I actually ordered with from, and this one I'm going to link below to her. She doesn't have a shop that I know of. I just follow her on Instagram, and I follow her using my, my first account on Instagram is my Tinder pop, is my Tinderbox jewelry account, and that is for my jewelry shop, my jewelry and leather shop that I have on Etsy. And so that is my oldest account that I had. And then when I started a YouTube and paper crafting, I wanted to, and share my paper crafts, I've always paper craft, but I wanted to have a specific Instagram for that as well. So on my original Instagram account, I followed her, and her name is Craftaholic, let me see if I can say that again, I'm going to look over here because I had it ready for me, because I want to be sure to get it right. She is the craft. Aholic Creations on Instagram. But I will put that in the comments below. I mean, in this description below. I will add that in the description below so that you can check out her page and then you can order from her pages. That's how you do. You contact her on there and you can order. And she also puts, you can special order items like this, the clothing and stuff and which, which bunny or which doll. She has dolls. She has little girls and little boys. And I think she even has bears and snowmen and different things. And so you can choose like the clothing and choose what you want. And then sometimes she just has some on there, I think for sale that she's already made up. And so I wanted a little bunny cause I like decorating with bunnies. And so I like the word bless cause she, this little bunny is sitting in my dining room on a little uh, wooden cake stand, tier stand kind of thing. And so I chose, I had seen that she had made one like this before with this fabric and I love this fabric. It's like a tea stain fabric. And isn't that adorable? I've never thought about tea staining fabric until she sent this. And recently I tried it and I do enjoy tea staining fabric. And so I, you can ask what words you want on it. And so the little bow and the bunny ears. And so she's absolutely adorable. And this one I think measures about 12 inches. And so I just set her on that little tear tray 
in the dining room, but I think she makes, she makes, I know she makes smaller ones and larger ones in all different styles. And then she paints the little faces. Look how adorable that is. She paints those little faces and she hand letters that, which is, I do not have good handwriting, so I couldn't do that. I absolutely love that. And so I love the little vintage feel of this bunny. So that's why I chose her. And so I just wanted to share it with you because I think these would make great Christmas gifts. Christmas is coming up and she has them for different seasons. And I'm also thinking I'm going to have to get me one to sit in my dining room for the fall and then one for winter as well. And this one I had for spring and summer and I just absolutely love her. So I just wanted to share that with you and I will link below so that you can check out her Instagram account as well. And then the last thing is I went antiquing myself and I had never, the reason I'm sharing is because I had never thought about doing this until I saw another YouTuber sharing this. And so I thought, well, why not share it too? So just in case you had never thought. So when I went antiquing, the antique shop was shutting down. And so they were clearing some, a lot of things. And so they had these, the squilt top here. And it's, it looks like they have cut up different shirts and just fabric and things they had around. And this is just an old quilt top. And so I have strings and stuff because I did wash it when I brought it home. And so we have a lot of allergies and things. So I try to wash and make sure I get everything cleaned up when I bring it home so that it doesn't affect our allergies. And so I um, have washed it. So now it's got strings because this was just hand, hand stitched together, not with a sewing machine. They just hand stitched every little square together. And so I thought this would be awesome for a cover. And that's what I learned from another YouTuber is when she showed hers, I think it was Gail Agostinelli that showed hers and that she had bought. And so I was like, oh, that's an excellent idea. So when I went antiquing, I love going antiquing and finding different things for my home and different things to repurpose, but I'd never thought about buying the quilt tops to use for junk journals. So I've already taken and cut some off of this one because I'm making myself a reference journal. And so here is my reference journal that I haven't got too far in it. You can see it's very thin, but I'm using, this as the cover and I've just added this. I think I've showed this in a video already because I had stamped on this fabric and then I added this to the cover. And so when I did wash it, some of the colors did fade, but I'm okay with that because I like the old feel of it. And so I, I really like how this, how it does. And I did not like, I could fussy cut around and decide which area I wanted. I just randomly cut off to make this little reference journal for myself. So I just thought I would share that with you. And this one is really big. I mean, it's a quilt top. It's big enough to fit a whole bed. So I thought I would share that. And then I found one more thing. So when I was out shopping, this is not an antique. This is new. I just found this remnant and I really liked it. And the first thing I thought of was a junk journal cover. But now that I have it, I really love it. But I don't know, do you see the, the like the sequence, how it shines and stuff? So now I'm trying to decide what should I use this on? What theme journal would you use this on? So comment below and let me know if for this fabric, what theme or do you know a digital kit that you've seen that would go really well with this? You can let me know below or let me know what theme or what style journal I should make using this fabric. So I think that's all I was going to show you today. So just be sure to comment below and let me know about this. If you have any ideas for it, how I should use it, what I should use it for. If you have another idea that I should use it for other than a journal cover, uh, let me know because I love making all kinds of crafts. So if you have any ideas, just let me know about that. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.